So traders, the Fed just gave us the green light. Do you know what that green light is? I'll share with you just in a minute. Don't place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. All right, traders, if you haven't done so there, grab that trading course, so that, that flash sale I've been running for the last few days. I'm about to take it down over the next few days. So if you need help guys, $7, first thing in the description, uh, go get access to that right now, traders. So let's actually talk about this here. Um, the thing is that I'm looking at with the markets and the Fed just gave us a green light. Now, what does that mean? The green light simply means that <laughs> the, 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 the big move that we've been getting on the S&P 500, expect continuation, <laughs> right? Um, and as you guys know, like you guys are still, um, I'm still, and, and I hope that my, my hope guys is that if you've been watching me for the last few months or more, you've been know that I've been calling for what's been happening here right now, uh, for quite some time. And, uh, the thing is, is that I hope you can see traders for you guys that have been short the markets and trying to pick the markets, the market's going to crash and so on and so forth. I hope you can see from the big picture of what some things I've been saying over the last few weeks, if you've been, if you follow me, or the last few months, about what's really pushing these markets around. Now, this market is very high. I, I would expect to see some sort of a pullback right now, but I wouldn't. Uh, but the way the environment is, we're in right now, would be very, very, very difficult. But we had a very, very nice update, and look at this astronomical move out of these markets. And traders, as you know, that I did a video even about four or five months ago now saying. That the S&P is on its way to 5,000. Well, we're actually getting pretty close there right now. Right? Continue up, continue up. I would expect to see some sort of a pullback out of this, but maybe this is just a blow off top and we and we get very little pullbacks at all. Right? A little down day and away we go. So the Fed just gave us a green light. The reason why the Fed just gave us a green light is because the thing is, is that um, they, yes, they did taper, but they tape it a little bit. They're going to ease into it, right? There's no raising interest rates or anything like that. So there is still this massive force underneath these markets that is pushing these markets to the to the moon. And so that's the reason why guys will continue to get this big move out of these out of these um out of this pullback and then a big 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 move to the upside. So we're seeing that through there even the Nasdaq. Look at the Nasdaq. Just very nice update today. Again, guys, I would expect to see some form of a pullback, like because we've done so much move now. Like I would expect some form of pullback, but again, trying to trying to predict a pullback in this type of environment is very very risky. Um, but I wouldn't be too surprised if we did get a pullback. But if we did get a pullback, it's probably going to be very 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 short lived. But look at this big move from here to here, right? Big move up, and we're getting very very close to my seventeen thousand print by the end of this year. So. Just absolutely astronomical, big, 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 big moves up um, on the uh, on the Nasdaq as well too. Same for the Dow Jones. The Dow Jones is starting to finally break out, and as you know, that I've had a target of around this sort of up here <laughs> of the top of this channel, so around that forty thousand level, maybe more. And that may even happen just before the market or before the end of this year. We still got two months or just just under two months left of market price. So very, very, very big news. And also, guys, uh, also the uh, Russell 2000 is continuing to break out very nicely to the upside. Got a massive amounts of volume after all this time. And now we're breaking out. So once again, I still see the uh, Russell continuing up from here. So traders, the Fed has not put on the break ship. Okay. Yes, remember, um, for you guys that are new folks, okay, new folks, um, the, the Fed, when the Fed starts to really put on the brakes, them, the, the, the Fed tapering is not them putting on the brakes, right? Right, yes, well, if they taper hard, yes, that's a slight put on the brakes, but it's the interest rates is the big thing. Remember, the neutral rate, the neutral rate for these markets is 2.5%. We're still at pretty much zero, and they're slowly easing off the pedal. So, where do the once again, traders, the Fed has just given us the green light that they're going to slowly ease off the pedal for the rest of this year. So, what we've been experiencing out of these markets, 
like this big breakout. Expect a nice move back up towards the top of this channel on the Russell. S&P 500, same thing. Expect probably even a 5,400 print as we continue to make a very nice, just astronomical move to the upside um, in these markets. And uh, I would say expect that. Now, I would expect to see some form of pullback, but again, guys, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put my money on that, especially the environment we're in right now. Um, but once again, traders, the Fed has just given us the green light. And if you are short this market, you are going to continue to get run over by what the Fed has said.